Hey girl, welcome back to the vlog. I'm Jasmine. If you're new here today, I'm about to go get my nails done. I'm running a little behind, so I need to run out the door. But this is what my nails look like right now. This is my last summer nail set, and I'm excited to change it into something more fall. I'm also gonna spray on this perfume, Poets of Berlin. This is not the most fall scent, but I don't know, it's pretty. That's kind of what I wanted to wear today. So that's what we're doing. I'm also wearing a MAC combo on my lips. The lipstick is escaping me, but I do have on Nymphette lip gloss. So I'm gonna take this with me. Well, I was gonna put on deodorant. So I'm gonna go put on some deodorant. I'll show you guys my outfit real quick. All right, I'm just wearing this set from White Fox. It's this kind of like brown color, really pretty. And I'm gonna wear my Adidas Samba with this outfit, I think. So we're gonna head out the house. I still need to kind of look through the designs that I screenshotted to see which one I really wanna do today. But anyways, let's go. Nobody told me it was raining today. I just realized that I forgot my headphones. Wow. All right, so I just got to the nail spot. I have five minutes before my appointment. I'm going to look through my phone because I definitely took some... Ooh, that's like setting powder all over my screen. I took some inspo pictures, but honestly, I don't remember what they look like. So I'm going to try to find them. Maybe I did it in Pinterest. Let's see. I think I did save some in Pinterest. Ooh, these are pretty. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. I got to do this quickly, y'all, because I want to go in because I got to soak off these nails. Oh, maybe we can do this this is nice just like a French with these that actually looks really pretty I think I'm gonna do that and then maybe I can add like no I think I'm just gonna do that that is so pretty this is another inspo pick that I have this is another inspo pick that I had. I want tortoise for sure. So I was thinking something like that as well. I like both. Maybe we'll do this one and then this is too hard. Okay. All right. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. This is my before. Your heart. Keep it in your pocket for some keeping. Don't ever let nobody be the reason. You throw it out. You stop caring about it. Don't let your head get in the way can't be defined by your mistakes you know you try and you try really hard but sometimes you fall my nails look so good this is what we did i did oh i gotta hold on <laughs> um we need lotion one second do i have lotion in here oh, i have it right here Okay, my nail tech always slays, okay? If you live in Rockland or North Jersey and you're looking for a nail tech, come to, well, don't take up all the spots now, but <laughs> um, Nails by Joanna Nanuet. Oh my gosh. First of all, most of the girls, I think, honestly, I think all the girls are really good because whenever I look at everyone else's nails, they all look amazing. So I think they're all really, really good, to be honest. So, oh, my nails look so good. I'm so, like, I'm officially ready for fall. I feel like it's now fall, okay? So this is what they look like. I'm literally obsessed. Are you kidding me? What? Like, the way she executes my inspo picks is crazy. I decided to go with a dark burgundy instead of the brown. The burgundy color was more, like, in right now, and I just wanted something a little different. So I did the burgundy instead of the brown, but, ugh, girl, like, she just, she just gets the vision. Like, I, she's amazing. I love how cozy this set is. Honestly, I want to buy some more because it's so cozy. I just got the lotion on my pants, and hopefully it does not stain because it does have like I think it has oils in there hopefully that goes away because I would be sad this is the first time I'm wearing this set so yeah I think my dad has something that takes off oil though back when I was in high school he used to use it whenever I would get oil paint on my clothes like once in a while it would happen and he would use this 
strong chemical. He would soak my stuff in there and the oil would come off. So I fade in away, so I'm hoping it goes away without me having to do anything. I'd be sad. I'd be real sad. Okay, I haven't even did an OOTD with this outfit. <laughs> I haven't even shown this outfit on Instagram. I'm a little hungry. Not too hungry though, but this morning I had black coffee and I had the little biscotti thing from Nespresso and black coffee that was my meal that's all I had to eat today so I'm definitely a little hungry and I'm not sure what I want I'm sitting across McDonald's and I'm like do I want a diet coke and a small fry like is that the vibe right now <laughs> probably not I don't really indulge in fast food that often but when I do I try to make sure it's Chick-fil-A because that's my favorite. So it's a cook tonight. I'm making salmon bowls, which I'm excited for. They're going to taste so good. I don't know, y'all. That Diet Coke sounds real good right now. I'm about to go get a Diet Coke. <laughs> and then we're going to go to Home Goods, walk around a little. I actually saw somebody with a fluted thing that she said it was from Home Goods, but I don't know if she meant like Home Goods this year like i don't know if she meant like this month or like 10 years ago you know so i'm gonna go check home goods see if i find something similar because it looked really nice it was like this flat fluted vase um or bowl situation cb2 also has one like that but cb2's one is like almost 200 dollars, maybe almost 300 dollars to be honest i think it's like almost 300 dollars. so i'm gonna see if i could find it at home goods okay right, so let's go to home goods see what we find and then from there, we'll probably grab something to eat. Yeah, sometimes if I So I didn't find what I was looking for. They had like a smaller black version, but not the wider, like creamish version that I saw online. Honestly, I didn't really expect to find it. I just thought I would check. Anyways, I guess I'm gonna grab something to eat. Medium what? Diet Coke. Can I get one kid's meal with the uh, four piece nuggets? Papa Joe? Yes, please. Anything else? That's it. Thank yeah. you. So I got a Happy Meal because Callie said they were giving out Crocs and she wanted one. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, this is too cute. They came with, it comes with stickers. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is hilarious. Can, like hang it on your book bag or whatever i wonder if clay would want one of these okay she's gonna definitely be excited about this i just got my diet coke this is so bad but it's so good <laughs> all right my diet coke craving is fulfilled just pulled into the driveway I've been going back and forth not even going back and forth i've been emailing this brand for four months and they have not paid me y'all it's so annoying like this has not happened to me in this amount of time ever like i've had one or two brands pay late but not this late like not four months out one brand took like three months which was the longest that was one time never happened again this time around it's four months it's literally four months and i'm like what is going on i emailed after like the first couple weeks of it being late, they were like, oh, well, she was like, oh, it's gonna come in next week. Doesn't show up. I emailed two weeks after that date and she was like, oh, um, no, actually she never responds. So then I email again the next week and then she doesn't respond. And then I email again the next week and then she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I missed your emails. Um, it should be coming out this week. Doesn't show up. I'm like, what's going on? So from that last interaction it's been a month still haven't gotten any payment yeah emailed again last week she didn't respond and then i emailed again today she has not responded yet so i'm like what like what I 
like why would you sign up people for a campaign if you're not gonna pay them on time or just relatively close to the time and I know like the next steps is to do like the small claim stuff but I don't want to do that like I just want just give me my money like I'm not trying to do all of that like that's mad extra work for me but I will say I've been blessed in the sense that most brands pay me on time if not early I feel like the majority of brands pay early. Even if it's one week before it's due, that's early and that's, I love that. Let's just say this is the first and last time we will be collaborating. I guess that's part of this business, which I don't know why it has to be part of it. I honestly think that some brands, you know, there's like the stereotype that brands pay late. And I feel like some brands hear that and they run with it. When in reality, in my experience, most brands don't pay late. So... Paying late is not the norm, okay? Like, it's really not. So, I don't know if this brand thinks that they're just being like every other brand by paying late, but they're really not. That's not it. What is this? Oh, this is nice. Mmm. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to have hours with pizza this event for sure. I guess I'm done venting for now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> I guess I'm done venting. I need to finish laundry. I've been doing laundry for like three days straight. It's actually ridiculous. It's actually insane. I also ordered a pair of earrings from Mahi, which is, it's from Breeze brand. This is the brand on Instagram. Just earrings, bags, beach wear, and all this stuff is usually really cute. And I've been meaning to order for a while, but I finally ordered something a few days ago. When I saw them on her stories, I ordered them immediately. I was like, these are too cute. Like I gotta get those. So I ordered them. I messaged her saying that I ordered them. Tell me why the order came in. And she sent me two other pairs of earrings. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so nice. Thank you so much. The earrings are so cute. I'll show you guys in a second. And then I also had an order from Enroot, which I don't think I showed you guys the necklaces that I ordered. So I'll show you guys those as well. I've been picking up some like fun jewelry pieces, things that are a little more bold. Let's go in the house. I'm gonna season the salmon. So I'm gonna season it, let it marinate a little bit. Right, so I wanted to show you guys the earrings that I got from Mahi collection and then also the other necklaces so this is the postcard that it came with really nice and they came in this little pouch i'll show you the pair that i ordered that i picked out i thought they were so pretty they kind of look like a croissant which i think is so cool <laughs> i'll show you guys okay so this is what they look like how pretty is this from this angle they look like that and then from the side it's so pretty kind of looks like a croissant and i love the finish of these it's not like a shiny gold it kind of has like a muted gold look which i think is really pretty i cannot wait to wear these i love a chunky hoop that's the first pair all of these kind of remind me of the 80s i feel like my mom has pictures with these types of jewelry pieces and this one definitely reminded me of like a pair of earrings i think she owned this is what that looks like i thought this was so nice and these look so pretty on like oh my gosh statement earring alert love it i absolutely love it i cannot wait to wear these so beautiful and then the third pair i'm so grateful wow i was definitely not expecting that okay so oh my gosh like how cute like how pretty so classy kind of reminds me of like princess diana you know the people's princess so beautiful so just like classy dainty chic i feel like these are dainty even though they're also statement i feel like they're both statement and dainty at the same time so i cannot wait to wear all of these literally like can't wait and i am excited i'm excited to like style these for the fall and winter so happy all right, and then I also picked up some things from Enroot. This one is in collaboration with Colleen, Colleen Diaz. This is the necklace. I think I showed you guys this necklace in the last vlog or so, but this is it up close. I think it is so pretty. Like this is absolutely stunning. 
all the different stones, the colors, the, the rhinestones, the pearls, everything. Such a beautiful, intricate piece. It reminds me of something that I would see in a museum, like something that a queen wore. It's just beautiful. And then I also got this bracelet from Enroute. Put this in the back. How pretty is this? It's like this yellow gold with the red um, stones. Really nice. Did I show you guys these already? I can't remember. I feel like I did. I hope I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry if I already showed you those. Let me grab the other necklace that I got. This is the other necklace, which is also really beautiful. Is that really rich gold and it has this beautiful green pendant I thought this was so nice like how I'm trying to show you guys why well, I want it focus it's focused on my nails I think like how pretty is this I'm so happy this brand came across my Instagram because Almost everything I see on their site, I'm like obsessed with. And there's also this other brand that I saw. It's very similar to this one. It's called Vanessa Mooney, I think. Also has really beautiful pieces. This is the necklace that I think is so pretty. But I do think this is more of a spring and summer color. The lavender or lilac. These have been my favorite jewelry brands to kind of stock recently. I've just been looking at all their pieces obviously i just got these pieces so i can't tell you like how well they're gonna perform and how long they're gonna last and if they're gonna tarnish hopefully they don't but they're new so i can't really say on i can't really speak on that because they're new but i'm definitely excited i think they look really good anyways it's four o'clock you guys i need to do homework with clay in a few i actually need to wrap up my work before i start that with him because yeah, he has like some project due tomorrow. And one thing about it, when you have kids, it's like you're back in school with them sometimes because you have to help them with the homework or like with a test or whatever if they're studying. So like you're literally a student again, you know, I'm back in fifth grade and seventh grade at the same time. My seventh grade experience was way different, I feel, than Clay's. Like Clay's like switching classes and doing all this stuff in seventh grade. I went to a Catholic school for middle school, so I, did, and it was a small Catholic school. We only had one class per grade, and each class had like 30 kids at most. So it was really small, a very, very close knit environment, and we didn't switch classes, as you would imagine. Like, there wasn't, like, it was just one class. The teachers came to us. Definitely having a very different experience than I did in seventh grade. But Johnny had that type of experience, I guess, because he went to a school where they did have to, like, switch and stuff like that. Then I had to go do that laundry I was telling you guys about earlier. So, um, I'm going to talk to you a little later. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I literally forgot to take my Lemmy Chill gummies. I just brushed my teeth. I purchased these because I was out of sleep gummies and they've actually been helping me fall asleep. So I don't know. I think maybe the Ashgowanda, Ashgowanda, it helps like calm me, I guess. I don't know, but this has been working for me and I definitely forgot to take them. It's okay though. I'm kind of tired, so I'll probably fall asleep. I'm going to use the Fenty Melt Off bomb to just take off my makeup i was listening to a podcast uh is it a pod it was a youtube video but i think it's a i'm pretty sure it's a podcast with um lauren london i actually was listening to another podcast she was on yesterday and then this episode popped up under like the recommendations so i started listening to it like 20 minutes ago and they're pretty good. I think it's worth a listen. I'll have the podcast in the description box. Hopefully I remember. But once I'm done 
shaving my <laughs> once I'm done taking off my makeup and doing my skincare I'll show you guys the uh, screen so you can see it in case I forget it's gonna take off my eye makeup dinner was so good I had the salmon bowl oh my gosh it was so delicious and I have more salmon so I'm probably gonna have it again maybe on Saturday because tomorrow's Friday, I don't really want salmon on Friday. <laughs> it was so good and it was so like rich. And now we're gonna do a cleanser. I'm using the Tatcha. And yesterday's podcast, one of the things that either the host or Lauren said was basically being on the journey of self-awareness is a constant journey. Like you constantly have to self-reflect and be self-aware and that was something that that was something that I never really thought about like, I feel like I like if you asked me I would definitely say oh yeah you should probably continuously do that but I never gave it any thought and just hearing somebody say it made me really realize like oh wait this is something that I should constantly be practicing and making it you know kind of like part of my to-do list because self-reflection has definitely really really um impacted my life in a positive way because a lot of the things that you do as a as people you're not if you're, if you're not reflecting on like why you why you do that why you thought about that why do you think about it that way why did you internalize this little thing into this such into such a big deal like why did you make a problem out of nothing like if you don't do that work you can create so many problems for yourself unnecessary problems it has for me in the past learning to be self-aware is something that really will change the trajectory of a lot of things in your life so i'm gonna use these to take off my eye makeup i feel like i'm still seeing mascara and i really don't like that that's the one thing that's not the only thing but honestly this is kind of making me miss last extensions because i wasn't having this issue when i had my lash extensions <laughs> anyways what i was saying was basically being self-aware and just um reflecting like why you think certain things or why certain things bothered you the way, the way they did it was one of the topics that they discussed in the podcast i listened to yesterday and i was just like re it really resonated with me sometimes you forget sometimes you forget that you need to do these things often not just you know once or a couple times you know i'm gonna use the double serum tonight I'm actually going to also use my tretinoin because I feel like I need it. There was a lot more in the podcast and I'll have it linked. listen to the rest of the podcast but i'm just going to show you guys just so i don't you know forget so i want to show you guys this is the one i'm listening to right now this is the title up here just so i don't forget and then yesterday i listened to this one right here which is right under like they both recommended each other i guess but this is the one that i listened to yesterday which was also really good um, really enjoyed it. This one I'm almost done with as well. Just gonna lay down, finish that episode. 
I need to put the food away. Basically, after I spoke to you guys, I had dinner. It was delicious. I helped play with his homework. Got dinner ready for them. Dinner for Johnny and I. Full shower routine. So, I am going to go to bed. Good morning. It's the next day. I literally went in and out of the house like four times before finally having everything that I need. And I really hope I have everything I need because if I have to go back in the house one more time, I'm going to scream. Like, I came out here, I turned the camera on, the battery was dead. I was like, oh, I gotta go get my batteries. Came back, turned it on, it had no memory card in there. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? I went to go put the battery, to, I switched the battery, and there was no memory card. I had to go back to get a memory card. Came back, I was like, all right, let's get situated. I didn't have my phone. I was like, oh my goodness, like, what the heck? Went back to get my phone. I finally am back in the car and I feel like we should be good. I just hope I'm not forgetting anything else because I do not want to go back in the house. Anyways, we are about to go run some errands real quick this morning because I wanted to get certain things out of the way early so I can get back home and get to work in because I have a lot of stuff to wrap up i like to wrap up my week um with any projects i need to complete or just like edit in i like to do that on fridays so that on the weekend i don't have much to do in terms of work but also clean in so that way i could have like a fresh start to the weekend and the next week so that's what the goal is for this morning and i guess for today we're gonna grab coffee i kind of wanted to get coffee at ralph's so we're gonna go to ralph's which is in Woodbury Outlets. That's the closest one technically to me. Well, yeah, that's the closest one to me. So we're going to go to Woodbury Outlets. I'm not really going to go shopping in the outlets. That's not really my plan. We're just going to go to Ralph's. And then I think we'll go to Walmart. I haven't been to Walmart in a long time. But um, that's the Walmart that I prefer. There's another Walmart in Rockland. But I don't like it. It's, it's actually terrible. That's the plan. I do need to get gas which sucks because it's raining doing some cuticle oil this one is from lost it time oh no it smells really good it smells like the shower oil if you're familiar I rub that in rub that in all right i'm feeling grateful this morning i'm feeling so grateful all right let's head to the gas station i did finish that podcast episode last night by the way and it was really good i really enjoyed it It was very wholesome the episode i listened to last night was with lauren and i forget i think her name is radica she's actually jay shetty's wife and i didn't know that um i listened to jay shetty's um channel or like videos off and on like his interviews but i am not like invested in him to the point where i know his wife or anything else really i just kind of know him from the interviews i've watched and i do enjoy them and i enjoy his like perspective on things a lot of things at some point during the interview she made a comment and it kind of made me think wait a minute like who is she talking about like she's talking about her husband like someone that we all know and i'm like who, what is this lady talking about i ended up googling her after because i'm like who is this lady googled her and i realized that she's jay shetty's wife and i was like oh that makes sense that's why she said it like that but anyways it was a really good podcast episode very wholesome one of the things they talked about was changing seasons in your life and basically um what that can look like when you have to like transform and people may look at you and you know side eye you like who do you think you are trying to be this person like you're being fake like that's not you i have experienced that to an extent in certain ways but i think that i've always kind of just seen it as i'm just you know like i'm just different you know i never took it as i was being fake but i think for me like one of the biggest times in my life when things really changed after having kids so I always thought it had, I thought I always thought it had everything to do with having kids. But when I look back after listening to that episode, I looked back on it and I realized that that wasn't the only thing. Like it was just everything else. It was a lot of other things, a lot of other factors that kind of made me change as a person. And having kids was just the most noticeable thing, I guess the um, physical thing that you can see and like say that's it. But it was a lot of other things because I know a lot of other people 
who had kids young um, and nothing else changed in their life. Like they had kids, but they kept doing all the same things, you know, nothing really changed. But in my life, everything changed, I felt like for the most part. Some of it was because I had kids, but other things changed because I was also shifting my mind uh, my mindset shifted on a lot of things the way I looked at a lot of things shifted the way I thought about a lot of things shifted and it wasn't because I had kids it was more so like I was in a transition and period in general it was it just so happened to happen at that same time if that makes sense hopefully I'm making sense but listening to that episode made me realize that and it also made me realize that maybe I should do like therapy because I feel like I have a lot of thoughts. I've never done therapy, you guys. Like I said in the last vlog, um, I'm a February baby, February 17th. And um, <laughs> that for me means suppressing the feelings. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And they talked about journaling, just getting stuff out there, getting your getting your thoughts out on paper. Anyways, let us get going. of objectively see your body composition and see how much all right so we're gonna head to the outlets we're just gonna go to ralph's really <laughs> grab coffee i'm gonna look around see if there's anything new that i want to check out because sometimes they have like new stores here Just left Ralph's. I got my coffee. I also walked into Aritzia, which I definitely should not have because they had so many cute things on sale. Girl, all the sweats. They had like a ton of different colors. Thankfully, they didn't have any matching sets because if they had like, I saw like a sweat, like a sweatshirt. They had sweatshirts for like $23, $29, $33. Usually they're like, I think 70 or something like that. And then they had bottoms. For like the same prices but they didn't have any matching colors besides black and i didn't really i have a black set i'm wearing one right now so i was like i don't really need another black set if they had any other color i would have picked it up but thankfully they didn't because i did not come here for that usually when i go to aritzia i don't see much the outlets i don't see much but today it was it was looking nice in there i think i'm gonna go to sephora and then we'll go to um walmart sephora is in sephora no <laughs> sephora is in kohl's so hopefully i'm not disappointed because you know how that can go where's kohl's oh it's all the way on the other side <laughs> makeup i touch my face so often it's actually annoying you know that whole theory like when you wear makeup you don't break out as much that's why because i'm always touching my face and I, that applies to me i noticed way back like way back in the day skin actually did better when i wore makeup and i think it's because i don't touch it i think it's because i'm not touching it all right we're gonna go to sephora and colds pray for me because i really hope they have that one size foundation i didn't check online girl but <laughs> living life on the edge let's go oh they have an aldi here i've literally never been to aldi but i know everyone talks so positively about aldi maybe i should go one day okay let's see what's popping in here this is a full-on sephora Mm 
this is given Sephora. This is not Sephora in Kohl's. This is a full Sephora. Okay, where is one size? Not this, Patrick. Oh, here we go. All right, so. Hmm? Where are the rest of the sheets? I just left Walmart. I was literally checking out for like 30 minutes. I'm on this line and the person in front of me, not in front of me, the person in front of her is taking forever to put her stuff in her cart. Like she's literally picking up one item at a time. And this is like, she's not using bags. So she's just adding the items to her shopping cart, but literally one at a time. And it's like, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing this? Why? Next is the girl in front of me and the guy has to like look up one of her items. He's taking his sweet time looking in the app for the item. Like he's just moving at like negative three miles an hour. <laughs> Eventually she's finished. He does all my items and then it's time for me to pay and my card's not working. So I'm like, this makes no sense. Like I definitely, the card should be working. I haven't done any crazy shopping today. Chase hasn't texted me like, there shouldn't be an issue i literally just used it at um sephora so it's not working they don't have tap to pay you have to either insert or swipe the card so i'm like first of all why are y'all stuck in the 90s like where's the tap to pay so he's like oh it's not working i tried like six times it's not working eventually i was like all right what do i do he's like you have to go to another register or something i was like what so i took all my stuff and i went to customer service i'm like i'm not gonna go to i'm not gonna go to another register and have the same thing happen so i went to customer service so she checks all my stuff so i try to use the machine same thing happened so i'm like what's going on she's like all right let's go to this machine so we went to a different machine i tried again and then this time it works so i'm like what's going on she goes yeah some it's kind of weird but sometimes with chase cards the newer machines have problems like the older ones work but the newer machines sometimes have issues with chase like the chips so i'm like she's like yeah we reported it like several times it's happened it's been happening for a while and i'm like you've got to be kidding me how first of all the newer machines in question <laughs> look like they're from the 90s so i don't i, I really i don't get it like what's going on walmart i know y'all got money what in the world like there's no excuse for this they have all the they have all the money they mm -mm. i couldn't believe it so it took me so long to check out anyways let's go home i got stuff to do I'm gonna get to work. I'll do a quick Walmart haul when I get home to show you guys what I picked up. At home, a really quick Walmart haul. I got this from Dove and it smells really, really good. It's called Snow Blossom. I really wanted this soap. There's a soap that's like part of the holiday collection, but they didn't have it. This is the deodorant. Can Butter Crunch deodorant. This smells so good. And they do have the soap version. There are two other holiday scents, but I love this one the most. I also did like the apple cinnamon one, but I got this one and I need to find the soaps because they're so good. Anyways, I got this in the meantime. And then I picked this up, which is the EOS vanilla scent in a hand cream. I didn't realize they made this. So I saw this. I figured I would pick it up. This is actually for the cars. I'm going to put it back in the car. Got some cream cheese with some bagels, some taco seasoning, some more shells. This is for Callie and really just Callie because Clay doesn't like um, candy. This is for Callie. I got some pasta salad. I've never tried this, but I wanted to try it out. Something different, I guess. I got some more sour cream, some potatoes, some more potatoes, and a bunch of meats. So I just got some chicken breast, ground turkey, and some chicken wings. And then I did go to Sephora to grab the one size foundation, which I'll probably film 
later today maybe i'll do that now actually so i'm gonna start filming and i will talk to you guys in my next vlog thank you for watching i love you bye